Slava Ukraini! I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for rejoining me here in Dreams of a White Russian Victory, which we're playing as the Kingdom of Ukraine, doing a pretty good job. We got a lot of army, naval, and air XP, and last time we were smashing a couple of Russians around, which was one of the comments from yesterday. Someone said, wow, we made a very strong Ukraine. Uh, yeah, very, very strong. 113 factories. That ain't bad. However, with the scope of this campaign, We'll see how far we can go. Just because with the way everything's going, and we can eventually integrate like Russian territory, and uh, we might have to go to war with the Allies eventually. But we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Tanks are moving around, adjusting themselves. Where do we want to strike next? Maybe here, 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 perhaps. Uh, let's see. Yeah, maybe right there. Boom, boom. Roll Slavl and do three tiles and circle those guys as well. That'd be kind of nice because Turkey is also in our alliance trying to fight these guys, and Germany is trying to fight off all the allies. And Portugal joined the Greater Axis. Well, okay then. Well, that makes them stronger. Makes Axis stronger, at least for now. Germany doesn't seem like they're doing that. Romanian People's Republic. Uh, um. Okay. Did they go? They must have went communist then. Uh, I maybe not. Okay, so maybe when Russia took them, Russia might be influenced their administration with communist support. So is the Democratic with the Republic of Bulgaria. Okay, yeah, this is weird. Romania is not a puppet of anybody though. They're they're an independent actor. Okay, whatever. You know what? It's not my place to judge right now. We'll take them all out later. It was recommended in yesterday's video that I do though. Uh. Maybe make a second army take out Romania before they join the Allies. At this point, I think we're just going to have to end up just killing everyone in the world. <laughs> With the bonuses or the bots that we already got, we can almost maybe even rival the United States in terms of technology. So I'm not too worried about it. Especially if we get cores all over the uh, all this territory. So we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see it. And we're only on some volunteer only. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, in the meantime, let's go get some light aircraft, fighter, agility, max speed. You know what? I might just... You know what, six research slots, I'm going to focus two slots from, from here on out on sh naval stuff. Because I think we really need to do that. We'll probably have to really focus on our navy for the most part at this point. Because, well, where we're going, we're going to need it. We are really going to need it. And circle these three divisions, would be great. Including another tank division, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, this is... This is okay. But by the end of this episode, my goal is by the end of this episode is to take out all of Russia if we can. Because their lines are looking a little weak. And as we shred and destroy more and more enemy divisions, it'll be easier to uh, just do a full frontal push eventually. Man, they are looking so god darn weak. 113,000 versus 2 million lost. Now, I assume they have more than enough manpower now, right? Uh, yeah, so have a good amount. We have more factories than them still, so that's not bad. And you guys are de okay then. Defending down there? Cool. Let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, we can do it again. I'm going to go this way just so that we don't have to fight over a river. It won't be too bad going into these tanks. So, <clears throat> I do want to change this cavalry division into a tank division. Even though we did, I didn't make them 40 combat with, so <laughs> those are kind of thick cavalry divisions. How many uh, motorized we got? Oh, we got a little bit more. Maybe we could uh, get rid of that and exchange this for this. Uh, we want to make some armored cars, too. We should probably get armored cars. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Infantry motorized. Good. How many do we need now? I can throw one more on, I think. It just makes us use more fuel, of course. But it does give us more defense and just slightly more breakthrough for now. Which is fine, whatever. Cool. Three, two, good enough. Let's go. You're just going to do that. You are just going to head over there as well. You can take half you guys go in there and then do that. Boom. Easy. You know what? Using the infantry, we could probably do the same thing with this. There you go. Setting new doctrines for our land doctrine, which is great. Uh, let's see. Rocketry designs, ex army XP, which we don't need. Nuclear tech. You know, let's do nuclear tech, just so we can start researching that. Now I become death, destroyer of worlds, by Robert Oppenheimer. Yeah. I don't know much about him. Interesting guy, I think, though. Working on stuff. Oh, man, those tank divisions, they just can't compete. Oof. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the motorized division has changed into a motorized artillery, or cavalry division has. Oh, my goodness. Very good. Go ahead and put them out of the misery. Lay down even more firepower. Beautiful. And these guys are just... They're almost all just 20 combat with, with just straight infantry. So this is a little nuts. 
We can save manpower later by changing them out to be 40... Well, using 7-2, but then we're going to lo lose manpower because... Uh, well, it is what it is. What I'm going to try... I'm going to be really risky here. I'm going to go all around Kursk. I'm going to use my motorized and cavalry and go crazy with them. Right now we need more light tanks and stuff like that. Motorized... We need more military factories. As much as I want to build roads... Hernikov? Is it Chernikov? Hernikov? I... My pronunciation is obviously not as good as it was the other day. Go and smash these guys through. You know what? Good RL. Take out Kursk itself, and then you guys head on down there. See what you can do. I, I, I don't know at this point. I want to test these guys out. We're probably going to get encircled. This is probably a really bad idea. I actually sent half you guys with them. I go up to RL. Or Oral? RL? 1.5 now is not bad a day. Uh, can they pierce us? No, they can't pierce us. And they're almost dead themselves, so that's kind of okay with me. It's really going to stretch out the line here a little bit, but that's okay. You can actually reshift it if you want to for now. Just to make sure that we're nice and still pretty darn balanced. War bonds, pretty good, pretty good. Come on, beat them up. Oh, they actually have a okay cavalry division that help them out, but there's not that many battalions in that division. Alright guys, keep pushing, keep going. Regimental combat teams, nice. More soft attack and organization from support companies. Get some mechanized offensives. Ah, uh, more breakthrough for the tanks. Yes, please. Good. Oh, you're, you're, you're going crazy over there. Okay. He's almost up there as well. They're almost up there. Good. Even just a little bit more. Ooh, we take a little bit of damage. Uh, tank, you're not allowed to leave yet. How did you get all the way down there? And everyone else, you've got to follow their lead and make sure you get in there quickly so we don't get encircled. Cool. Nice. We're going to cut all these guys off if we can. Alright guys, I know you're little injured tanks, but we're going to need you to do more. Nice. Keep building up those military factories. Oh, Ukrainian nuclear experiments, which is kind of crazy, but okay. Oh, uh, Ukrainian Navy, why not? Although small, the Ukrainian Navy is once steed, steeped in old traditions that carry over from when it was merely a part of the Russian Imperial Navy. Due to our limited naval infrastructure, no new warships have been built since our separation from the Russians. It's time we fix that and increase our presence in the Black Sea. Very good idea. Do we have a... Ooh. Ah, battle cruiser. Very nice. Now, if I did this, we could lower our fuel amount. But maybe we can do stuff here. Oh, we're actually getting attacked here too. Nice. Keep going, guys. You are slow enough that the infantry behind you can actually catch up, which is okay in my mind to a degree. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh, good. I, I started doing some more. I need to do more plain stuff. That's happening in 1941. Oh, we need to do 41 stuff, but I got to at least do a little bit of <clears throat> naval stuff. Tactical bombs would be nice. By the time we're done here with this Russian war, we're going to be basically a superpower. Would be awesome. Very good. Oh, we, don't, we can't even cover the line here. Oh, boy. Uh, come on, come on, help them out, help them out. Can they actually pierce us? You know what? I want to circle these guys. But I do want to do a frontal attack before they get too strong, so we can try it. While we still have the strength for now. We're not going to win everywhere, but that's okay. Put the pressure on, keep it on, come on. Fighter baiting, nice. Let's come over here and grab some of that already and get some more construction for. That'll be good. Uh, you can hold then. You move, You hold, let the tanks do it. We just have to encircle them here. Come on, come on. Good. Oh, we got him. Nice. A good encirclement. More than what, at least a single division. Now we're going to have a lot more casualties. And it's going to be a lot more of a pain in the butt to put down all this resistance, but that's okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Tanks, how are you looking? Are the cavalry still getting attacked? No, they're not. That's fine. <clears throat> So division-wise, they still have up to 200-some, which is not good. We have up to about 85. But you know what? If we can break them fast enough, they won't really matter. But we'll see what happens. You guys get up there and do your best. Do your best. Do your best. Let's see. Over here, you're almost there. Just go if you can. Go crazy. All right. Wow, they, they got more manpower. They're going on an extensive conscription. But if they have no supplies, well then... Oh, they lost 200 divisions now. They have some strategic bombers. They have nothing. They literally have nothing. So basically, they're they're done. They might have more divisions, but if we can destroy their divisions. It's, oh, it's over. 
Which is a nice thing to think about. A very nice thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna let Romania die to Germany, because Germany probably won't be able to stand up to all the allies eventually, hopefully, so we'll see what happens. Yep, they're, they lost at least three more divisions, which is nice, which is very, very good. And we're probably gonna have holes in our line too. Which is gonna suck. Really gonna suck. Keep up the pressure, keep attacking, because we have plenty of resources except for support equipment and light tanks. Support equipment, mechanized, of course, and light tanks. Ukrainian Navy, good. I'm gonna go keep doing this as well. Fuel, we could probably use that, but let's do infrastructure one, just so we can build things faster. Creating better infrastructure and updating the old will go a long way in connecting our nation. Industry and trade will be more efficient and profitable, and our military will be able to traverse the train faster. Good. Heavy ship, hey, at this point, I'm just gonna get 1940 ships. Uh, yeah, it's not bad to get more of that. Not bad. Does anyone have upgrades? Did we get encircled up here? No, we did not. Good. Uh, yes, you do. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. How much artillery do we have? Oh, we got plenty. Oh, nice. This is going to be probably a bad idea. Who was I using? Yeah, you guys. You guys have... You're 7 too. I'm going to take half you guys and convert you guys to use that as well. So we save a little bit more manpower. Use up a little bit more... Actually, quite a bit more artillery. Like 500 more pieces of artillery, which is fine. But hopefully it does make you stronger. And that's a goal. That's a real goal here. Medium tanks, armor, reliability, speed and reliability. You get more self attack. What about over here? Cavalry. We are using cavalry and motorized. Artillery. I like both of these. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a sneeze. I'm going to do artillery just because everyone uses artillery, at least with support equipment, so that would be nice. And take over the factories even faster. I doubt we can get all the southern territory that quickly, so we can't core them yet, all or nothing armor scheme. Go and get 1940s heavy ship holes. That's good. Uh, you guys can definitely hop out here if you'd like to, so... How many divisions do they have? And by us doing well down here... Oh, they got over 200 did again. Uh, hopefully... Oh, look at this. This is nice. The Turks can do pretty well down here, too, so let's see what happens. You know what? If I did this... I did that. There you go. We can circle these guys over here and cause these guys to go bye-bye. Are you guys actually moving? Or? Huh. Ah, good. Very good. We could grab this one next, but we're going to... Oh, wow, it's already March 6th. Could you do a little bit more fuel? Let's grab improved oil processing for now. That'd be nice. Better light tanks. Coup in Romania seems more modest, at least. Uh, really? The people's... Yep, they went Volkami. Okay, well, whatever. They do them. Nice. Take them out. Take them out. Good. So you're done. I'm going to throw you guys over here. Nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. Casualties are not high enough. And 2.48. We're taking 126,000. But we've killed 2 million of them almost. And they have less than a lot of the divisions, divisions that they started with. Uh, I'd recommend, yeah, go go here, guys. Over here, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, obviously we just don't have enough divisions, so... Uh, we're also gonna do... We got enough fuel for now. More naval stuff. Cruisers. Cruiser hulls. Let's grab that one. You guys... Yeah, at this point, come closer to the front line. I'm actually gonna... I hate doing this, but I'm gonna auto-deploy you for now, because I need more divisions on the front line immediately. And they can learn as they're going through doing stuff. That hurts us a little bit. That's a little better. Not bad. Uh, yeah, infrastructure one, not bad. Do two, do three. Yeah. Cool, let's do it again. Infrastructure two. Creating better infrastructure and updating the old will go a long way in connecting our nation. Uh, industry and trade will be more efficient and profitable, and, then, and our military will be able to traverse the terrain faster, which is the same one, same one, same one, so... Okay, whatever. Donuts. Donuts. If we can keep killing them off, that'd be great. But it looks like they're actually starting to offer us quite a bit more resistance in some areas. So, we're gonna wait a sp stop the attacks. But once they're done, we're done with those guys, then. Oh, these guys are gone, hopefully. They'll be goners. You can help try to attack. Good. Good, and good. So now that we spread it out a little bit more, we're gonna need more guns to help put other people down. But, we're gonna get more compliance, which is nice. Cool. Maintenance is nice. Ooh, it's only 41. Fuel. Get some more assembly line production. Good, those guys died. And you guys can probably have out here, actually, if you wanted to. 
cool. Oh, we've definitely expanded ourselves quite a bit more, not gonna lie. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see, Southern Territory, we need Rizan and Moscow. Oh, that's all we need? That's cool. Uh, you guys can't win? You guys could, yeah, you guys can win there. Wow. Alright, so let's spread you guys out a little bit better so we can actually make really good encirclements now. Uh, let's see. Honestly, it's probably a good idea to link up with the Turks, so we're gonna send you guys south. Boom, something like that. Well, 130,000, 2.56 million. Okay, territories. Even though with our compliance, we do get an extra 0 0.05 a day, just because of the way that uh, we have it set up. Oh, infantry. We do not want to use infantry. Well, no. we okay. We gotta get armor cards next. As much as I said I wanted to get other stuff earlier on, like uh, oh man, that looks so weak. Sorry, since over there, but uh. I wanted more naval stuff. We'll see what happens. Alright, at this point, three, two, one. You guys can just go ahead. Take up the light tanks. Because we want to save the tanks as much as possible. And then meet up down. Uh, that's still connected down here, so we gotta go that way. Go ahead, guys. See what you can do. Oh, you just immediately killed them off. Nice. Actually, you guys can just go right there. There you go. And if you wanted to, you could help out and go that way, too. And you could actually help out going that way, too. Come on, get rid of those guys. There you go. Let's kill them off, kill them off. Hey, we linked up! Uh, we could probably do try another general attack. Yeah, we could try it, why not? The front, center front's not too bad. Oh, I never go air land battle, because it's okay. You get more hard attack, which is okay. You get more soft attack for tanks, which is okay. Reinforce rate's not bad, and you get more organization and more air superiority. But you get more soft attack, you get more recon on your recon, and reinforce rate anyways. So, the shock and all is pretty... My tried and true standard. There we go. There you go. Oh, you do not want to abandon that area. Infrastructure 2, same thing with infrastructure 3. It'd be fine. Exactly, basically the same thing. Ooh, keep building, guys. We need more, 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 more. There you go. Go. Emergency war bombs, we could do that. We could increase conscription. Operative slots, more war support, but we'll see what happens. Remember, we did not declare this war. They went to war with us. So. Let's get some of this too. Basic cruiser armor schemes. Ukraine's going to end up being a very nice army, navy, everything pretty much by the end of this campaign. Anything else? Nope. That's okay. And these guys have been crushed. Maybe I'll use the motorized and like tanks to do some more work. Looking a little better, at least for support equipment. Oh man. Gotta take him out. There we go. Alright, so next up, I'm gonna as armies are moving across here. Oh, I'm gonna go here. <clears throat> right there. Good luck guys, you're gonna need it. Yeah, we're doing pretty darn well. For southern territory, all we need is Moscow and Peres Slavzl Ryazan. Liaison, huh? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, we're about to get started. And that's going to be so nice. Let our guys get some organization first. We don't want to hurt them too much. Support equipment's looking pretty good. <clears throat> all right, head on over here. Just all but you. Make it down there. Force the attack. Don't let them. Don't let them retreat or anything like that. Good, 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 good. Oh wait, I wanted to. God dang, I forgot. Armored cars. Armored cars. We gotta get armored cars. Because right now it's not looking ideal for this. But we have enough army speed, we're gonna change this up. Cool. Alright. Motorize. Actually, arm we can actually we make it armor cars. Light tanks. Oh, uh, technically, yes, we are making armor cars. Okay. I'm gonna throw in some cavalry in there just in case first. Make more armor cars. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. It's gonna save us some. Good stuff. We can get some military police. There you go. Suppression. We're gonna get a lot more armored cars where we're going. Oof. And armored cars. Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay, so you gotta go to the top then. If we want to use that many armored cars. But we might not. So let's go switch all of you guys down to cheap. Cheap, 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 cheap. And that saved you up by a little bit. Not by much. Oh my goodness. He's probably promoted. Well then, 
Okay. Well, we're making more military factory support, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, we got encircled. But then we saved ourselves. Good. <clears throat> Keep going. Yeah, at this point, I think the Russian army is... They're doing okay. They're not completely defeated, but... I think we're doing pretty darn well, especially with our industry compared to theirs. Oh, okay, yeah. Why don't we just gain cores in all required states? Integrate Russian territory, the southern portion. 480,000 manpower becomes what? And 146? 148. 514? Not a lot more. Not a lot more. Okay, so now it's not our territory. <laughs> and how many do we need for this? We got 200 armored cars back. Not bad. Not bad. Infrastructure 3? Great. We can grab some more fuel immediately. Although oil extraction and refining is already present in Kiev. Or Ki Kiev. 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 There is much we can do to increase our extraction rates. Expansion of the oil fields and its refining centers would be a good first step. A very good first step. Uh, we want more research speed. Less sub-detection. Uh, more range sub-detection max speed. Mm. You do get more armor and heavy attack. I don't like, like less sub-detection. I don't use torpedoes that much, so we're going to go over to this guy. So that's okay with me. Germany's still struggling. They're not losing yet, though, so just surprising. They're by themselves, and they haven't taken out these people here. Of course, then again, Spain is not looking good, so. Let's finish these guys off in the Caucasus region. Oh, boy. Very nice. Actually, we could go to war with Romania, maybe. Not yet. Not, not yet. Good armor scheme. Construction 4. We're going to grab some of this. And then look over here. I can't do that yet. Uh, this doing... Okay, so here... Yes, suppression is 2.5. But if you do this, you get more cost. 6 cost versus 4. That has 2.5 suppression. This has maybe no more. So it's not really worth upgrading it, really. At least for now. Uh, maintenance. We got to get military police. That's right. Good. Crush them, crush them, crush them. Good, good, good. <clears throat> and we're obviously going to pay the Turks pretty handsomely for what they've done for this war for us. No, I'm not going to go in their lands, though. No, 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 no. You're crazy. There you go. I'll let you guys fix it up. I'm going to let you guys do, deal with this for now. Give him some more planning bonus, too. Uh, any upgrades? D Dimitro? No, he's a mountaineer, though. That's good. Heavy ship holes. Awesome. So that's done, but we still got to get some better turrets, probably. Yeah. Basic heavy turrets. Oof. Sweden's looking pretty good. Oh, they're also in our alliance, too, right? Yeah, they are fighting them. The Black Sea Alliance. Well, yeah, we'll see what happens if we have to take them out or not. Keep going, guys. You're doing a good job. They, the Russians have 150 max in terms of divisions. Not bad. Pretty good. And they are almost gone. The Japanese Shogunate joins the Axis. Okay, they don't create their own faction this time. They just the Mexican Soviet Soviet Republic joins the Allies. All right. Well, whatever. Okay. Uh, I could keep pushing further this way. I'm going to push up. Mm, how am I going to push up? Because we're running out of divisions. <laughs> we're really running out of divisions. So, pushing over here would be okay initially. Then we get bogged down. We're going to push up north. Screw it. Get our tanks over there. And for infantry, even though by not attacking them, we give them more time to build up their supplies, I'm really waiting for the planning bonus to get a little higher. Uh, units of strength. Uh, Oh, maybe I don't get a bonus. Oh, okay, just go ahead then. See what happens. Then again, it would help if I gave you actual orders. So there you go. Oh, no wonder they don't get a bonus. I didn't give them orders. Duh, Mr. Mocha Lover. What are you doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm not thinking right now. Woo! Still making more military factories. Going to make a few more armored cars. We're going to need a few more for where we're headed, so. And we'll stop that at... Oh, it's already done. 15. Nice. Light tanks looking a little better. We need more, of course. We could use more rubber and aluminum, but which we'll, which we'll get eventually in time. In time. We need 40 heavy ship poles. Expand the Kiev oil fields. Let's see. Naval Doctrine, Black Seas Pirates. Which Naval Doctrine do we want? I'm trying to go with battleships, but I do want carriers eventually. Um, you know, I'm going to go with carriers and base strike. Delusions of Grandeur. Forget that the defeat is stock of what is or isn't possible. We should do everything in our power to create a navy without peer in a corner of our world. If we can produce at least a couple carriers and hold on, our hold on the Black Sea will go uncontested. Well, hopefully more than just our hold on the Black Sea. Hey, look at 
look, another tank division. Beautiful. Alright, we had enough planning bonus time now. Even though, I mean, the guys like these have like 25%. It's not a whole bunch extra, but that's okay. Now the Turks don't want to help me. Of course they don't. We have not lost that many guys. Holy cow. Yeah, Jesus. Holy crap. So now it's just between me with the Swedes and the remnants of the fin Finnish army beating up Russians. Because Mongolia also capitulated earlier, so we don't want to forget that. Germany, you are actually pushing through Italy. Throughout all the allies, and they're focusing so much on Portugal and Spain, you're actually pushing through Italy. That's a little nuts. Not gonna lie, that's a little nuts. Uh, I'm gonna do that basic medium batteries too. That'd be good. That'd be very, very, very good. Keep building ourselves up. Any other slots? No, but we, I'd like more slots. <laughs> support equipment is looking very nice now. Very, very nice. Actually, if that's the case, pure infantry and support. One, two, three. Uh, you can get some recon. How are light tanks doing now? We still have a deficit, so I don't want to put an armored car. Ah, armored car recon would not be bad. Four arm. Oh, light armored car. That is light tank. You know, we could probably get that. It gives them just a little bit of armor, which is not ideal, but whatever. But I, we can't afford that right now. We can only do motorized ones, though. 3.5. It's not bad. Maybe we'll change it up later. I don't know. We'll see what happens. There you go. Good. And we'll change all these divisions out eventually, so. Oh, you don't even have engineers. Holy cow. Now that probably ruins our support equipment. Uh, let's get in there. Maintenance companies, nah. Tank wise, US joins Australian Defensive Initiative. Okay then. Why not? Sure. Why not? Suppression, 7 2. Tank divisions are still 20 combat with, with not enough motorized in them. Oh god, we need more motorized now. Get some of that in there too. Yeah, we're going to need more light tanks. We're going to need more motorized. We're going to need a lot more things, just period. But we're doing pretty well. Pretty darn well. I would have to say so, at least in my opinion. Getting close to Petrograd. Or closer. Uh, what just happened? Japanese Shogunate, why'd you go to war with Russia? What the heck? Now I'm fighting the Allies? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Russia? Russia. Oh, this gun turned into a giant mess. Oh, I'm fighting the Allies. God dang it. <clears throat> Bulgaria, Romania. Oh, shnikes. Alright, so infantry, you gotta hurry up. I gotta put my guys on the board against Romania. What the heck? Of course you did. Of course you would. No, that, that spells the end of Romania then. Just because. Now basically. That's so dumb. That is so dumb. Don't capitulate, Spanish Empire. You're not allowed to right now. A lot of Vladivostok, which is good. Man, doing histor a historical AI has gone nuts. Research destroys battleships, submarines, carrier models. Let's get a bonus of carrier models. Carriers of the future are using cheap aircraft to destroy even the mightiest of the battleships. But they require a large investment in terms of research and production. If we can successfully create an, even a couple of carriers, we have truly become a major naval power. Pretty much. Wow. This world has definitely turned into the worst possible scenario for us for now. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but oh my goodness. This is definitely not how I imagined this would turn out to be. I mean, holy crud. <clears throat> yeah, but Romania's gonna die now, because... I mean, why, why, why'd why you go to war with me? L they literally went to war with me. To kill me off. Oh my goodness. Some of production, that's good. <clears throat> Could grab some more extraction, but let's grab some... We can grab that stuff, but... Plane-wise, we're doing okay. Air doctrine. Let's keep doing air doctrine since we have enough stuff for now. And then what are we gonna get next? Basic heavy batteries. Get even better batteries. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we don't have enough. God dang it, we don't have enough soldiers around here. No, screw it. You guys don't go there. Go there. Go there. Go there. God dang it. Couldn't get them off. Man, this sucks. This really sucks. I'm gonna put you guys over here. Hey, we actually made the encirclement though. Nice. You gotta hold him. Centralized fire control, good. And four observers. Nice. 
Keep them in place. Keep them in place. Push them, push them, push them, push them, push them, push, 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 push. All right, you guys got to hurry the heck up. Come on. Actually, Turkey's in the war, too, now against the Allies. Oh, my goodness. This is probably the greatest thing that Axis could have ever done, is get me in this, too. <laughs> All right, you do that type of crap. Let's see what we can do here, then. You're not going home. Wait, no, don't go that way. Go there. They completely cut off. You got to go, 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 go. Just don't please get in circle two. That would suck. Nice. Good. Put the pressure on them. Yeah, don't worry about attacking now. Just kind of defend. It's probably the greatest thing we could do right now. Guys, you've got to move faster than this. You've got to kill all the Russians off now, now, now. They're not even a major power anymore. They've lessened, like, almost 70 factories now. Not, not bad. They've done a pretty good job so far, I'd say. China. Anything else around here? Keep these guys in place. Get, come on, motorized. D good, good. Mm, Air Force people, ground support. Air superiority is not bad. Uh, we are using motorized quite a bit, so. And we do want to get to mechanized too, so. Come on, good. Losing a battle doesn't really mean anything as long as we destroy the enemy's divisions, so. Come on, Germany. I hope Germany does well now. I really hope they do do well. Actually, we didn't really need that one. Whoops. We need this one. Oh, God. I thought that was this one. Like, I need you guys to hurry the heck up. Like, we need this done yesterday. Russia's got to fall. They've already lost Vladivostok. Come on. we got to get it to Petrograd. Why are you guys taking so long? Actually, how much... How's their air uh, superiority looking? Not great. Not great. We don't have enough fighters to really throw at them anymore, so. Hmm. 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 Well, that's the case. I'm just gonna take whatever I can over here. You really don't like. Oh, come on. How many divisions do you have, man? How many divisions? Keep them in place. Oh, we're actually winning. Uh, and you can help support the attack. I thought you were going to help out, too. That'd be good. They threw another division in, so be it, whatever. Come on, guys. Come on. Make a wounded. Keep them in place. Don't let them move. No, no, no. There you go. Actually, I could, if I could break right there, we get to kill those divisions off. Poland refuses. Oh, my God. G Germany. Germany. No. 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 What the heck, Germany? No, why? Um, he's really good, but we're gonna Yvonne here. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys are taking too long. Get to Petrograd right now. You, ha There's no waiting. We have to capitulate them. Go, 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 go. And we can barely hold off the, R the Romanians right now. Oh, ship development. None of our plans for our Navy can come to fruition without proper ships, designs, or dockyards capable of constructing new ships. Any dream of Ukrainian Navy should begin here. Yes, so we can do... Well... Uh, this definitely turned out into something I really did not want to see. I did not think we'd be going to war with the Allies like this. There's no way I would have thought this. Hopefully they don't go to war with us, though. Hopefully. Hopefully. Well, we can try to hold them in the south for a while, but... If the Poles start losing, I will go to war with them. The thing is that we that will draw away soldiers from them, and hopefully Germany can do pretty well here. Maybe they're, oh, they're losing Prussia. Oh boy! Come on, come on, come on! Don't let them move around. Basic medium batteries. That's good. That's done. Grab some improved medium batteries right there too. Come on! How do you not have it yet? Okay, we got it. Good, good. Get right there. You're gonna encircle and destroy these divisions. Okay, so how's Russia not capitulated yet? That is not fair. They lost Vladivostok and their three major cities. Come on, man. How's Kazan? What? Come on. Seriously. 97% of the way there. You're, you're, you're done. You're, you're, you're basically done. Nothing there. He's a ranger now. That's nice. And we made another took him in, even though they did nothing about it. Cool. Oh, crap. Don't let him in. Don't, don't get me encircled. God dang it. You got me encircled. <laughs> God dang it. That's okay. 
We got these two divisions. We're gonna kill them off right now. Germany, you bit off a little bit too much here. I need you to hold these guys in place. I need you to go right here and take those guys out. No, you're not moving. You're not moving, son. You are not moving. Supply-wise, we need more armored cars. God dang it. That's okay. Come on, come on, come on. Russia's gone. Get Russia gone. Oh, we did it. We killed them. We got them. Woo! That is nice. And let us... Oh, we don't even have all this stuff. Oh! Huh. Huh. We need that territory. Uh, well, that sucks. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to trade them this. I know the Finns need the Finns need this. But I'm going to take it just so that we can get the cores on that for now. Because we're going to need the factories and stuff. I'm sorry, Finland. I know you're my puppet. Or not my puppet. You're my ally. Uh, but I'll give you this in exchange. Onega? There you go. Now you're feeling a little bit better, right? There you go. Sorry. But that's all the time that we have for today, my friends. This is definitely not turning out the way I wanted it to. But regardless, at least now maybe we can focus on taking out the allies. Yeah. I guess that's what's going to have to happen next. But regardless, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will probably go to war with Poland and start beating up the smack out of the allies. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.